I hope you have seen the previous videos which, in which I explain the relationship between fractions and decimals. Okay, so I have here six example questions. I want you to try them yourself first. As I put the video on pause, these three I have to change them into decimals and these three I want you to find the equivalent in a fraction. All right, so put it on pause now. All right, I'm gonna do it relatively quickly. Yeah, decimals are always tens, hundreds, thousands. So eight and then three over 10, that will be 8.3. Yeah, three tens. Two, one over 25. Again, decimals are tens, hundreds, thousands. Yeah, and I explained this in more detail in my previous videos. And so I have to find an equivalent fraction out of 10 or out of 100 or out of 1,000. In this case, one over 25 is equivalent to four over 100, yeah? That's a factor four, you can multiply it by, but then also the numerator, please. So that would be 2.400, so zero, four. Be careful there, not 2.4, because that would be uh, four tens, yeah? Or 40 hundreds, no, it's 2.04, four hundreds. Seven, 23 over 100, do not have to convert anything, because it's already already there in um, in hundreds, so it's seven point two three. The other way around, yeah. Again, place value tens, hundreds, uh, two decimal digits. How many hundreds do I have? Well, I have eleven of them, eleven hundreds, uh, and always check if you can simplify that. Eh? If you can take out a common factor, five point three. So that is a mixed number five, and I have three tens. Yeah, three over ten. Okay, and one. 0.36 again a mixed number 136 over 100 yeah and that last one 36 and 100 they're both uh, even so I can simplify that into one well let's just divide them by two yeah? both of them I always simplify in steps no need to to rush things divided by two that's 18 over 15 yeah they're still even so I'm going to divide both of them by two again that's 9 over 25 Okay, 25, yeah, I factor 5, but 9 doesn't, so 1, 9 over 25, yeah, is the equivalent, yeah, mixed number to 1.36, all right, um, I hope you were right, and if you were wrong, that is fantastic as well, and then you learn from your mistakes, and perhaps you revisit my tutorials, okay, have a nice day.